Eén, twee, drie. No. Kek Partnership Project Update. Kijk, en er staat water in. Suspect. Decision support tools for risk-based prioritization and control of contaminants of emerging concern. Our idea is that if we know a certain area, the activities that take place, the people that live there, that we can actually predict using the data, the quality, so that we only need to measure once in a while to see if we're still back on track. To make those models work, we really need the data to, to validate them. And this is where the, the challenge comes, because it's uh, starting from the consumption data. It's sometimes difficult to get. Uh, and also, also, and also the measurements inside the wastewater treatment plants. In our project, we chose to uh, measure using passive samplers, which are acting like little sponges that uh, we put into the sewer system. We leave them there for a week, and they keep accumulating a certain type of compounds, for example, pharmaceuticals and then uh, we take them out, we take them to the lab where they do the analysis and that's how we get our, uh, our results to validate our models from it. And those are the results from our pre-screening. So we analyzed over 400 compounds. We found at the wastewater treatment plant effluent here in Nijmegen still 130 compounds of those. And we see in, uh, in purple that the concentration in the wastewater effluent is on average a bit lower than as compared to raw wastewater. One of the biggest learning outcomes for me so far was that measuring is always, not always knowing in that sense. So it's very important to pay attention to how you measure and how you take a sample and how you analyze that sample actually in order to get good results to validate your models. One of the things that we found is that um, plasticizers, for example, are very difficult to measure with this kind of uh, sampling technique because the samples themselves are plastic, so we found really high concentrations even in Blanco samplers, which are not, we're not exposed to wastewater. But um, our hypothesis is that because the samplers are from plastic, uh, you work in a, in a lab with plastic gloves, there's just so much exposure to plasticizers also within the laboratory that it is very difficult to get to reliable concentrations. Uh, water management is reactive until now, so something needs to happen. We need to have a problem until something gets into moving. And we think that's a bit too late, so we would like to see a more proactive water management and we want to facilitate that by actually predicting water quality. <laughs>